What's up, everybody? It's your boy BBT609. I'm here on the FEC, the defect detector down here in uh, Delray Beach near Boca. 319.0. So, as you can see, it's your normal defect detector. Hot box scanners in between their protective wedges and your draggers. But across the way, there's a new defect detector standing here that's going to take its place. So that one behind me is going to be decommissioned uh, once the West Main really starts getting activity. So let's look at what we have here. Of course, we have our draggers. We have our hot box scanners between their wedges. Now, I do not know why the wedges are uh, spread it more apart than the one over here that I, I don't know why probably to give it more scanning capability because trains are going to be going faster on these lines so it's just a little guess so as you can see new equipment bungalow here I'm, I'm really wondering what it's going to sound like east main west main kind of stuff um the radio antenna however is not on these bungalows yet probably they will be kind of like that one down there so of course like I said before you got your draggers and you got your hotbox scanners now what's interesting to me however is that all the defect detectors are going to be lined with this kind of equipment which is cool I think it's dope I think it's dope now those things that you see on the ground you see my shadow these on the ground actually are for the high and wide loads up here so basically the envelope is between these two scanners right here these two scanners scan the envelope of the train while it's passing under and these bottom two pretty much uh, capture or probably send back a beam so basically it's just a beam that's being sent between here to here so if that beam were to be cut it means high or wide load pretty much wide load not really high because I don't know if there's anything to detect high load because anything too high you're not gonna have on your train period but something that's too wide yeah these things will catch for it so this is pretty dope. I've never seen anything like this before. So I, I think I think it's pretty cool. Um, those pads right there, those scan, those little uh, bars. Say, um, have you guys ever looked at intermodal containers and saw these little two, um, these two magnets, I believe. They kind of are like serial numbers. I believe every train car and every piece of equipment that moves on the FEC has a specific barcode or magnetic electro electromagnetic scanner or barcode. So these bad boys pretty much reads those. So anything foreign, you know, you would have to stop your train. So these pretty much make sure that things are going smoothly. But I don't know why it's only on one side and not on both sides. So I don't know if they could detect speed. That would be cool. I don't know if they do detect speed, but I know those are uh, scanners. So those are pretty much uh, the tag scanners, the electromagnetic tag scanners. Now, of course, if I go over here, of course, you got the dragger on that one. The hot boxes are, are there over here. The hot boxes are there. Your wedges are not in place yet. Though I don't know what this little gizmo is right here. Um, the little black boxes, what you see right there, I believe that's for axle count. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think that uh, that gray one could be for axle count or to start up the DD. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if all three of those are for axle count. Beats me. I'm not into much of this technology. But uh, I know there's magnets on the side of the rails, inside the rails, to count the axles. Maybe once for speed and maybe one's for axle count. So one in, is a speedometer and one just counts the axles. So that's that, that, that would be my uh, hypothesis there. 
Though I don't know what that little white gizmo is standing on that little mast. I believe that's to detect Hot Wheels, though. So that might be a Hot Wheel detector or it might be a Wheel Impact Load Detector. So I really don't know. But I think it's dope. I really think it's dope. You know, just looking at this whole new brand, you know, whole new, brand new, wow. <laughs> Can't even speak today. This new defect detector that I just stumbled across. I mean, I knew they were going to be putting it up, but I didn't know it was going to be this sophisticated. But change is coming here on the FEC mainline. Well, BBT 609 here at mile post 319.0 on the 40 East Coast mainline. At the defect detector. And I wonder, what would his voice sound like? Will it just sound like the generic voice that all the FEC detectors have? Or will it be different? Who knows? Look, listen, and live.